Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love using Rainbird's rotary sprinklers, but for the first time installer, they can be a little bit confusing, but we're gonna clear that all up for you. Hey, stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We've used Rainbird products for a long time around here. Been very pleased with them, and recently they've introduced the stainless steel rotary sprinkler uh, for just a moderate price increase, and we've started using these around here. Now, all of these types of sprinklers from them do take a little bit of adjustment and setup, and that's all done at the top after it's installed with a little bit of a setup on what's called the left edge. Let me walk you through the three adjustments that need to be made, and they're pretty simple. Once you get the cadence, you're gonna love it and love the results. The first thing we're gonna do is set the left edge where the sprinkler arc begins. The second thing we're gonna do is set the sprinkler arc rotation distance from 40 degrees to up to 360. And the last thing we're gonna show you is how to set the distance of throw. Uh, you can reduce these up to 25% of shortness. We'll show you how to do that. Let's get to work. Okay, there are three uh, adjustments we're gonna discuss, plus I'll throw in a bonus here in a moment. All this is done right at the, uh, um, right on the top here or on the body. So the first thing we're gonna do is set what's called the left edge where this sprinkler is gonna be starting from. And the only way to do that uh, dependably for me is to go ahead and start the sprinkler, have this rise out, and you'll see right here, this is what's called a four inch, meaning as a four inch projection when it rises out of the body or the canister here. So that gives you some kind of clearance idea of how high the grass can be before it starts to collide with the water stream. So this is gonna rise four inches and you're gonna let it run. It's gonna run around, it's gonna swing and it's gonna come back. Well that left edge is not where you need it. It's either watering things you don't want it to or it's not reaching where you want it to. You simply take a pair of water pump pliers and by the way, all these graphics are on the body here to tell you how to do this. You're gonna grab this and rotate the whole body back and forth until that left edge is where you need it. That's the first step you do and that now you're ready to go. Now the second thing is to adjust the amount of arc, how far around it comes. So let's suppose it's in the corner of a yard that's got a 90 degree angle. You've got a formal setting, so it's down in the corner and you want to swing 90 degrees. This is where you're going to adjust it. You'll see right here, plus and minus. If I take, and you, all you need is a little straight bladed screwdriver. I'm gonna insert it in here through the, the shield and I'm gonna fill and engage the slot. Right there, it just grabbed. If I rotate the direction of where it says uh, plus, that is clockwise, the arc's gonna get bigger all the way up to 360. If I rotate it to the left, it gets smaller and I felt it bottom out right there. That means the arc is 40 degrees uh, and goes up to 180. Now something that's important to note, if you've set it at 360, so let's suppose it's out here in the middle of the yard watering the whole thing. When it comes around, it's gonna hit the zero, the left edge, uh, that wherever that happens to be out in the middle of a yard, it's gonna rotate around until it hits that edge and then it's gonna come back. So it'll keep stopping back at that edge. It doesn't override it and just sit there and go around in a circle. So that's good to know, that helps you a little bit with the water coverage and how it's being done. All right, the next adjustment, uh, once you've got this in here, is indicated right on the top here. You'll see an embossed arrow here that tells you this is where the water exits. And right there, it's telling you what uh, the emitter that's in it, 3.0, three gallon, and you can buy, and these come along with some of them where there's a full strip of the inserts to change up the shape, the amount of uh, shatter of the water, uh, the arc projection, height, distance, all that. This is kind of like a standard three gallons, uh, 3.0 uh, per minute. These are GPMs, three gallons per minute, not per hour that is coming out the outlet. But it may be projecting too far or too little. Again, screwdriver goes right down through there. I've rotated, I could feel it engage, and I can either tighten it down to shatter it a little bit or shorten it, or to make it spray more, or I can back it up 
and make it so it's doing more of a solid stream. Now, Rainberg has what they call rain curtain technology, which then, uh, and you can see that right there on the label, uh, what it does is it creates a decay of the water stream so you get a, uh, a curtain of water going along the underside of the arc of water. So those are the three main and primarily the only ones you're gonna need to adjust uh, to take care and to maintain these. Should you ever have a problem, you can leave the body in, uh, in the ground uh, unless you're having to clean out um, the filter at the bottom, but if everything's good that way, you can literally un, uh, unscrew this right here while it's in the lawn uh, or in the irrigation area, pull out this component, discard the old one or put in a new one, put it back and you can see here's the gear right here that's driving everything, the rotation, and just put it back in there and reset your left edge recalibrate it, and you are ready to go. There's great information right on the bottom of this sprinkler, including a great QR code that allows you to just go there for more information. But I think you're gonna need everything you need to know we've just told you. Another great product that Rainbird produces is the rotary nozzle. Check out this video where we review it. It's great for flower beds. We know you're gonna enjoy it. Take a look there. And while we're at it, check out this other video that we produce that's in our catalog that YouTube is recommending for you. We think you're gonna love it, and we do too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.